Nang nagsimula tayo ng 2010, hayag at malinaw ang ating pangunahing layunin. Ang pagsasakapangyarihan ng mga mamamayan sa pamamagitan ng pangangalagang panlipunan o empowerment through social protection. Inais natin magkaroon ng mga may hirap ng sapat na lakas at na sila ay maging kasama ng pamahalaan upang sugpuin ang kahirapan at magtaguyod ng pagundan. These are what we have done as a department to ultimately achieve this goal. Social protection as a priority agenda. Empowering and developing capacities toward resilience. Approval of the Social Operational Framework in 2012. Convergence in practice internally through the URPMT and CMATS and externally through the HDPRC of the Cabinet. Putting a name and a face to the poor through listahanan. Empowerment of women and community leaders, 144,895 parent leaders, 491,992 community leaders. Mainstreaming and strengthening delivery mechanisms and processes through decentralization and the use of IT. Enhancing and increasing effectiveness and efficiency of the bureaucracy. Financial re-engineering to meet the growing demands. Restructuring the bureaucracy, workforce development, and performance management. Embedding the matapat, mahusay, magiliw leadership brand. Embracing IT as a management tool. Strengthening integrity management. Improving the status of workers. 11,000 contractual positions. Demand-driven expansion of programs. Pantawid Pamilya coverage extended up to 18 years old to cover K-12. Approximately 2 million children included in the program. Achieved the 4.4 million target coverage of Pantawid Pamilya based on the Philippine Development Plan. Creation of the modified conditional cash transfer to reach out to the most vulnerable, like the homeless street families and indigenous peoples. Reaching out to a greater number of senior citizens by lowering age requirement from 77 to 60 years old. From SEA K Revolving Fund to the creation of the Sustainable Livelihood Program's two tracks, Employment Facilitation and Microenterprise Development. KCNCDDP, from an agency program to a national government program. Strengthened and enhanced policy frameworks for vulnerable sectors. Quality response in the context of the new normal. Service of 1,570,390 clients and the disbursement of 4.72 billion pesos through the Assistance to Individuals in Crisis Situations program. Clearer and documented standard operating procedures. Linking of disaster response to early recovery and rehabilitation. Conduct of PIDRA and the deployment of quick response teams. Establishment of mechanized repacking systems. Active media engagement. Sustainability of the gains. Pursuing the conditional cash transfer legislation. Initial harvest. First batch of CCT and ESGPPA graduates. 13,469 out of 333,673 graduated high school with honors. 93 out of 3,138 graduated college with honors, including 1 magna cum laude and 59 cum laudes. Mainstreaming of the community-driven development in local governance. Programming for the 1.5 million years war. Partnerships with CSOs through the Bantay to Laika Bay Kaagapay framework and strengthening of the accreditation process. Data warehousing of the NHTO and ICTMS. These are the innovations that we have done to the programs, services, systems, and structure of the department in six years. Sa pamamagitan ng mga inovasyong ito, na panumbalik natin ng paniniwala ng ating mga beneficiaryo, nakarapat dapat sila sa higit pa ng kung ano ang nakasanayan nilang natatanggap mula sa pamahalaan, mula sa pagtingin. Using Powtoon.